Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours. I'm Deacon Kevin, and this is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Morning Prayer in Liturgy of the Hours. And today we will do, at, literally this morning, for morning prayer, we will do invitatory and morning prayer for Saturday in the 24th week of Ordinary Time. Now, well, we can also remember Saint Saint uh, Janurius, who was a bishop and a martyr. He died with some of his priests and also some of his deacons and others who were being persecuted at the time. And uh, of course, it's Saturday, so we have blue on, and we think of the Blessed Virgin Mary also. So we have a lot of options on a Saturday. All is good. All is good. So let us begin with the invitatory. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Let us listen to the voice of God. Let us enter into his rest. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth, and serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him singing for joy. Listen, or let us listen to the voice of the Lord. Let us enter into his rest. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us. We belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Listen, or let us listen to the voice of the Lord. Let us enter into his rest. Go within his gates giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Let us listen to the voice of God. Let us enter into his rest. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Let us listen to the voice of God. Let us enter into his rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us listen to the voice of God. Let us enter into his rest. Now this morning we find our hymn that we will recite on page 1218 of the four-volume set. Again, this is the fourth week of the Psalter, and this is Saturday morning prayer. Christ is the world's light, he and none other. Born in our darkness, he became our brother. If we have seen him, we have seen the Father. Glory to God on high. We recognize this one, don't we? Christ is the world's peace, he and none other. No man can serve him and despise his brother. Who else united us, one in God the Father? Glory, glory to God on high. Christ is the world's life, he and none other. Sold once for silver, murdered here, our brother. He who redeems us reigns with God the Father. Glory to God on high. Give God the glory, give God and none other. Give God the glory, Spirit, Son, and Father. Give God the glory, God and man, my brother. Glory to God on high. We do well to sing to your name, Most High, and proclaim your mercy at daybreak. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to make music to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your love in the morning and your truth in the watches of the night, on the ten-stringed lyre and the lute with the murmuring sound of the harp. Your deeds, O Lord, have made me glad. For work of our hands I shout with joy. O Lord, how great are your works! How deep are your designs! The foolish man cannot know this, and the fool cannot understand. Though the wicked spring up like grass, and all who do evil thrive, they are doomed to be eternally destroyed. But you, Lord, are eternally on high. See how your enemies perish. All doers of evil are scattered. To me you give the wild ox's strength. You anoint me with the purest oil. My eyes look in triumph on my foes. My ears heard gladly of their fall. And just, the, or rather, the just will flourish like the palm tree and grow like a Lebanon cedar. Planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the courts of our God, still bearing fruit when they are old, full of sap, still green, to proclaim that the Lord is just. In him, my rock, there is no wrong. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Take our shame away from us, Lord, and make us rejoice in your saving works. May all who have been chosen by your Son always abound in works of faith, hope, and love in your service. We do well to sing your name, Most High, and proclaim your mercy at daybreak. I will create a new heart in you and breathe into, a, into you a new spirit. I will take you away from among the nations, gather you from all the foreign lands, and bring you back to our land. I will sprinkle clean water upon you and cleanse you from all your impurities and from all your idols I will cleanse you. I will give you a new heart and place a new spirit within you, taking from your bodies your stony hearts and giving you natural hearts. I will put my spirit within you and make you live by my statutes, careful to observe my decrees. You shall live in the land I, give, I gave your fathers. You shall be my people and I will be your God. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I will create a new heart in you and breathe into you a spirit, a new spirit. On the lips of children and infants you have found perfect praise. How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth. Your majesty is praised above the heavens. On the lips of children and of babes, you have found praise to foil your enemy, to silence the foe and the rebel. When I see the heavens, the work of your hands, the moon and the stars which you arranged, what is man that you should keep him in mind, mortal man that you should care for him? Yet you have made him le a little less than a god. With glory and honor you crowned him, gave him power over the works of your hands, and put all things under his feet, all of them sheep and cattle, yes, even the savage beast, birds of the air and fish that make their way through the waters. How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Almighty Lord, how wonderful is your name. You have made every creature subject to you. Make us worthy to give you service. On the lips of children and infants you have found perfect praise. What we await are new heavens and a new earth where, according to his promise, the justice of God will reside. So, beloved, while waiting for this, make every effort to be found without stain or defilement and at peace in his sight. Consider that our Lord's patience is directed toward salvation. It is my joy, O God, to praise you with song. It is my joy, O God, to praise you with song. To sing as I ponder your goodness, to praise you with song. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. It is my joy, O God, to praise you with song. Lord, guide our feet into the way of peace. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that we, he would set us free from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, and, whole, and be holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, my child, shall be the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, guide our feet into the way of peace. 
Let us adore God who has given hope and life to the world through his Son. And let us humbly ask him, Lord, hear us. Lord, Father of all, you have brought us to the dawn of this day. Make us live with Christ and praise your glory. Lord, hear us. You have poured out faith, hope, and love upon us. Keep them firmly rooted in our hearts. Lord, hear us. Lord, let our eyes be always raised up to you so that we may swiftly answer your call. Lord, hear us. Protect us from the snares and enticements of evil. Keep our feet from stumbling. Lord, hear us. And now we bring all our prayers together into one prayer. All of us. And we pray as Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. All-powerful and ever-living God, splendor of true light and never-ending day, let the radiance of your coming banish from our minds the darkness of sin. Banish from our minds the darkness of sin. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.